these two students threw bricks from the high. As a result, their action took away the life of a three-month-old baby. In the trial, they said they only wanted to test the gravity of Earth. Unexpectedly, the judge really believed them. It hadn't been three minutes but they had already walked out of the trial without any punishment. They also didn't have any remorse in their faces. When they walked past the baby's mother, they even gave her a dirty smirk. Because of that smirk, Unsuk's whole life changed after that. Since then, she determined to become the judge of underage kids to punish those horrible child. After many years of hard working, she finally got the position she wanted. As soon as she took the role, that got the case that was famous in the whole country. That teenage boy lured a little boy into his apartment then cruelly killed him and chopped up his body inside a bag. He brought the body to the terrace, after that even came to the police to confess. But facing the questions from the police, he looked towards another side. The next day, at the trial, he described the process of his crime calmly and even laughed out loud in the middle of it. His inhuman manners and behavior made everyone at the trial and even unsoak shock. How could a 13 years old boy be that cruel? Moreover, he even loudly said that. I heard that if I'm under 14 then I won't be taken to prison even if I kill people. Is that true? If so then it's so cool. Facing this inhuman criminal, Unsoak swore not to let him go so easily. In the second trial, she asked him about the motive of his crime. He took out a piece of diagnosed paper to explain the reason as he had mental illness. But as soon as Unsoak saw that, she exposed him at the spot. This is fake, isn't it? Turned out, a person with that mental illness couldn't focus on doing just one job at the time. From killing people to chopping off the body and cleaning up the crime scene. To successfully do everything in order, he needed to be extremely focused. That wasn't something a person with that mental illness could pull. After that, Unsoak pointed out more loopholes to expose the boy. If you really wanted to surrender, why did you throw the body away? Hearing the word from Unsoak, the arrogant boy from before got anxious and didn't know what to do. As expected, the real culprit after this was still a secret. Unsoak checked the call history before and after the crime happened. She found out he contacted with a girl for so many times. When she brought him the picture of that girl, he lost all his calm and shouted out loud. Damn it, this isn't it, that girl didn't have anything to do with this. It wasn't her. At the same time, through investigation, the police found out before he came to the police, he always looked to the side. It was true that the girl in the picture looked at him. From the camera inside the elevator, they found out she also wore the same hoodies and appeared at the crime scene that day. After that, the police also found out she often came to an internet shop. When Unsoak was about to go there to catch the person, a woman rushed out to block her car. Unsoak was startled by this woman's stupid action. She said she was the boy's mother, she cried and begged Unsoak to let her son go. But a person who had a deep hatred towards cruelty like Unsoak didn't care about that. She turned back to her car, pushed the pedal and drove out of there. Not long after, Unsoak found the girl in the game station. She introduced her identity directly and told the girl to come with her. But a vicious girl like her wouldn't take that so easily, she found a way to get out of Unsuk's grip. The girl quickly ran out of there while Unsoak also followed after her. The girl used all her strength to run away, Unsoak also didn't let go of her target. When she was about to catch up, a car rushed by and bumped into Unsoak on the way. The other girl was happy inside but Unsoak didn't care about her injury and continued to chase her down. They ran into a dark and narrow valley, by that time, Unsoak had lost track of the girl. So she walked around to find the girl when she saw a footprint on the ground. She followed the footprint, the light inside was getting weaker. Unsoak opened the flash from her phone to look through every house there. Even if her hand was wounded, Unsoak still hadn't given up. Not until the girl got into a death end could Unsoak catch her. But when they brought the girl back, she still didn't work with them and kept saying she didn't know that boy. She was just calling him by mistake, but Unsoak exposed the wrong detail in her testimony. If you call him so many times after knowing it was a wrong number, you must have harassed him huh? When Unsoak showed her the picture at the crime scene, she still tried to make excuse. I only go in the same elevator, is that also a crime? But all the evidences showed she had connection to this case so they must arrest her for further investigation. Seeing the girl being taken away, her lawyer told Unsoak. Even if you want to take her to investigate, you still have to wait till the next morning. At least you have to give her a night to sleep. Unsoak also answered with anger in her voice. She only had one day of bad sleep, what about the 8 years old boy who was killed brutally? But the lawyer only had a smile on her face when she heard that and left the police station. Who would have thought the next day, the news said Unsoak used her power to hinder the innocent people. And forced the little girl in prison for investigation. Unsoak didn't need much to realize it was a trick from the lawyer. Facing those devious tricks, 
Ansoke didn't hold back and said the lawyer would be brought to daylight in no time. Who would have thought her boss who wanted to get a promotion order the course to finish the case? The truth wasn't important, what important was to ease the citizens first. But Unsoak was a determined and truthful woman. We have to show them the power of the law, we have to teach them a lesson. If they harm other people then they had to pay for their action. If it's only because their parents worry for their child so we let go, then what's the law for? Just like that, the trial quickly began. Both the girl and her lawyer denied being the culprit behind that case. They both said it was just an accident, the lawyer even tried to explain she made a mistake because of being autistic. But through their conversation, everyone could see she was the person who lured the victim. And asked the other boy for his address and brought the victim to his place. After doing the crime, they even used a foreign chatting app to talk together. The content of their conversation had been printed out. After she confirmed the address, the boy asked her if the victim was still alive and if the camera recorded anything. This proved that the case was in fact intended. The trial got to the most important part, the judge let them have a chance to explain. They wanted to make them expose each other to get to the bottom of it. At the time, to get away from the responsible, the girl took everything and blamed it on the other teenager. The teenager boy couldn't take it anymore. It's her who threatened me, she said the camera couldn't record us. The other girl still acted like she didn't have a part in it and lied to push the responsible away. He was pushed to the death end because of this and exposed everything about the process of their crime. Every little details were described, just like that, they exposed each other at the trial. The victim's mother was devastated when she heard it. Shut up already. Those two monsters ended alive because of some reason but they had the audacity to decribe in details their process in front of the victim's mother. This was even crueler than they kill her. Please judge don't let this happen ever again. Please punish them accordingly. Finally the judge came to their decision, the boy would be brought to the reformatory camp. While the girl spent 20 years in prison but the girl still hadn't showed any remorse. How can you who sentenced me 20 years in prison? But in the end, the criminals were still alive while the 8 years old boy could never come back to his mother's arm again.